months ago, an opportunity arose to acquire another old floating cabin and take it on as a remodel project. As work and time has allowed, we've slowly been chipping away at bringing the life back into this potential filled fixer upper. After wiping the canvas clean inside and completely refloating the underside to ensure a proper foundation moving forward, the groundwork was laid to begin moving forward with our vision for the new interior. With wall framing up next on the list, we couldn't help but bring back our beloved carpenter extraordinaire, Jericho, and the Outlaw Builders. If you're new with us, trust us when we say our building series documenting how the Outlaw Builders helped us build our own house is worth the watch. But you can get to that after this video. For now, here's enough of a recap for you to understand what you'll have to look forward to with Jericho back again. Feel solid. Jericho. <laughs> Oh man, nobody should ever let me lose with a GoPro. <laughs> I'm gonna just ask all kind of questions and be like, put it in the comments down below. Guys, do y'all think Jesse should go home for his girlfriend's birthday tonight? Put them in the comments down below. <laughs> Te gusta bailar? Oh. Never mind. <laughs> yes. Oh God, get blood all over everything. <laughs> Needless to say, this ought to be fun. <laughs> Brandon has this thing where he likes to listen to very aggressive music in the morning to get pumped for the day. <laughs> oh look, he's rocking his little shirt, custom made by our friends over at John Lennon's. Not only does John Lennon make great bed sheets, but his clothes don't even get dirty when he works. That's right, Boom. special coating. That's Got old man Jones on there. Is that right? Let's ah. that. You can they made me one too. Well, actually I got a hoodie. And look at my little sleeve thing. I go. <laughs> that was so cute. Thanks, Chase and Natalie. Testing. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm shooting this on my brand new camera, like a real camera. Real deal. Feel so fancy now. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you guys that first of all, because I'm still learning how to use this thing. So I'm going to take you over to the remodel cabin and start just kind of like messing around with it and I hope that it all turns out okay. But secondly, I just wanted to show you this. I'm going to record right now at the same time with my phone and you can see, and that's, you know, what I've always been recording with up to this point. You can see the difference in the quality. Oh, it's huge and I don't, I don't even think I have like the settings you know, dialed in. This camera was purchased with the money that you guys have given us, either privately on PayPal or here with the super thanks. I just wanted to let you know I finally did get the, the nice camera and hopefully I can really fine tune it and figure out how all of this works. But there is no time to lose. Jericho, unbeknownst to me, showed up like a few hours ago and started tearing the siding out. I can see from here, so we really need to get over there so that we can see what progress he's made. Let's go check it out. Ah, uh, how do I turn it off? I'm happy to be back. Jesse's back too. As a quick reminder of our plans for the layout of this place. That bathroom's there, but yeah. we're going to extend that wall out. So this wall right here will go, will come out another four feet and this will be boxed in. We're going to move this wall out four feet to join up with that other corner and come out, which, because that's just kind of wasted space, especially they're putting another dock on this, right? I'm kind of in the dark. Well, you know how like it can have up to 400 square feet of added dock. I don't know add the that shape the that he dock. wants to do, but Brandon's going to add 400 square feet of it. Okay. So we're going to move this and this window and then a, maybe a picture window. So that's lots of light and you get to look at the nice pretty view. Oh yeah. Doesn't get any better. This is a great spot. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this zoom is great. Oh, yes. <laughs> and now we get to figure out if these walls are load bearing. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun time to explore. <laughs> Glad I'm inside here. <laughs> Turn it 
trial and error, baby. What's the almost, worst that? Almost what's, definitely. Not. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Don't you feel like this was built pretty well as far as like the oh, it's, craftsmanship this goes? This thing's stout and it's nice too that they've got plywood everywhere on yeah. it. It's uh, and it's thick, it's half inch plywood. They did a good job. The trusses are solid, just needs... A little you know, TLC. Yeah, and a little bit of a modern touch to it. Yeah. I just can't believe like this nice of a view and there wasn't, there's that sh window facing that way and then a door the door didn't even have a window in it. i know it's, it's just, like it doesn't take advantage of it at yeah, all it'll be a lot nicer once it's done yeah watch out look at that double dingies <laughs> where's it going <laughs> They built it pretty good, didn't they? They did a good job. Uh, it's really, it's overbuilt, actually. I'm really irritated pulling this plywood off. Because it's. That's uh, good, I guess. They nailed the piss out of it. Yeah. Mm. The dude did, uh, did the floats under it. He was like, the bottom looks brand new. Really? And it's all insulated in there. I was going to move the door there. Okay. And then make this kind of the kitchen area and maybe do a window here. Okay, and, so. And a window over the sink. This whole space here, this is the kitchen and bathroom. Yeah. And then we got living room, bedrooms, and you'll go into the bathroom. There'll be a door here for this bedroom, okay. somewhere in here. This is the smaller bedroom. Okay. This is the bigger bedroom, and it does that 45-ish turn. This one's smaller, more living space. I'm going to bring a wall out right here then and come across and then we'll cut that right here. This was the inlet from the kitchen sink. But they oh, oh yeah, that's what I was talking about, that little one. It, yeah. He's just got it for a vent. Then all these we're gonna wrap with uh, one by sixes or what have you to make columns like we did on the little house. I think this one will be fun. I gotta tell you guys, I'm scared to death to even have this thing out here on the water. <laughs> Terrified of dropping this or getting it wet, I did get a warranty on it obviously but we know how that went with the GoPro so gonna be super careful with this one <gasps> what are you doing <laughs> copper mines in the world are there's one shaft that's underground or under the lake right here it comes out when it's all the way down the rest of them are up the bank there and it was 30 percent pure copper the best in the world right now is 15 percent pure and once the lake drops you can see all the foundations on this bank where the buildings were that helped store all the copper they didn't uh they didn't process it here they shipped it off these shafts though they say they run all the way to hazel creek which is pretty cool Letters on them. Huh. Some bear tracks. Not seen bear yet, but definitely bear tracks. Yeah, we'll have this wall framed up here in a little bit and probably have plywood on it. Um, probably get plywood on all of this by the end of the day. Thank you. Uh, 
Uh, cut me a 42 nine and a half. Super. I mean, this is the master. Super oh good. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. This is a little bigger than our bedroom, I think. Yep. And then that's the guest bedroom, bunk bedroom. He's putting new windows in. Four. Four windows in that, just in case that's a load bearing. <laughs> it is load bearing. You don't want to know. What is that? You don't want to know. No, I really do. So that ain't mine. I wouldn't drink that shit. Oh, whatever. You eat liver mush. <laughs> What do you guys need from us like this week? Just getting rid of all this or what? The only thing I need is I'm gonna first thing in the morning before that gets gone, I wanna do these windows because it'll be a whole lot easier to do it off of that than a boat. I think this thing's gonna look real cozy though with this kitchen just kind of being it's tucked away. Big. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could put a couch and a f***ing recliner in here. Yeah, it's bigger than what we got over there. And that window, that four by four window, you know, going right here, it'll go just on the side of this. I'm gonna put like a false post down the side of this so that it looks like that whole thing matches. I mean, and that's a lot of room for a table and shit, you yeah. know, kitchen table. Cool. Yeah, this is gonna have a good day out. Here. Yeah. When them, them f docks go <coughs> out here and out there where they meet and that makes that big do this. That's way. gonna be sprawling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be big. I think it was eight by 24 and six by 32 is what I come up with. Okay. I'm just going to hinge these with those hinges. Yeah. That, that, that I got on that other boathouse. I probably need to order six of them. Okay. <laughs> I got the gift of gab, didn't I, Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> you got a gift, all right. Oh, no, I'm gifted, bro. Ooh. <laughs> The more I see it framing in, it's gonna be nice. Those docks around it. Our excitement gave way to focus as the lake cleanup that we featured last week commenced the following day. We didn't have time to film any progress over the course of the next few days for that reason, but by the time we did make our way back, things were really shaping up. All right, looks like Jerrica and Jesse got the kitchen wall all framed in. The windows cut out for the two bedrooms. Really stoked to see this progress. It just happens so fast, doesn't it? This also helps just give me a much better idea of um, the size of this space. Cause you know, before we were kind of envisioning this, but now it is here. So man, it's huge. So much bigger than our house. <laughs> just think this could be you washing dishes with this window. I mean, it will be one of you. We have had a good bit of interest in this, by the way. Really appreciate your messages and emails and everything. Um, we're still not really interested in hammering down, no pun intended, a, a buyer until we get a little bit closer to finished. Appreciate your continued patience on that, but um, just bear with us. May not be the sexiest or most exciting step, but our, our final box to check off the... Well, check off the list this week is unloading all of this debris debris this part is by far the biggest downside to building on the water like this but for those of you who watched our trash cleanup video last week you know dang well we ain't gonna let all this just blow off into the lake so let's get after it Isn't it kind of nice not having to worry as much about the project? I think we're learning this thing called balance. Thanks so much as always for keeping afloat with us. And again, a special thanks to those of you whose support made this camera purchase possible. Cheers, y'all. I'm moving on.